Hello and welcome back to my videos. In this video, I will show how you can run um, a Mongo database in your Docker container and how you can create the, a backup and restore it again. In the previous video, we setting up with the login information, and in this video, I will show how you can take a backup and how to restore. It. So, this is the starting Docker Compose file and uh, then we have spinning it up here you can see it's running and then we can disconnect it again here and uh, going inside so we have it uh, everything down here so let's creating a database let's call it the hello world in the hello world we need a collection we can call it a test and let's say we want to create a little Insert the document, create a little bit more. So, uh, just hello and copy this and insert it and insert it one more document. And we want to say hello world. So now we have two documents one with the test hello and the second one with the world. So now we have the data. And the problem is if you Quit, quit this down and say docker compose down and then you destroy everything so what we want to do now it's uh, going back for the docker compose file and we will enable this and going down here and say backup and bind it for backup folder inside the docker container and we will close this down don't use down here because then you will destroy what we have done only say dot compose up again and when it's running we will confirm it with the reloading here and everything is perfect as it was before i will change the tab and i will say docker, com docker container and i will find the container here and it should be this one so I say docker execute and we want to go inside to base and I'll say we can confirm we have a backup folder here so that's perfect and now you are ready to go inside to the docker uh, to say uh, to confirm it's still running with the username and password so username and it's a mongo element and the password should be secret and we are into the docker so it's perfect quit it again so what we have done before is confirm the username and password it will run on a local host so we go into the mongo inside the docker uh, system and now we are quit again and you can we are still inside here so we stay clear so we don't don't have all the meshy stuff Back. So let's let's make a backup to the backup folder. And the command we need to type here should be mongodump, Mongo dump, sorry, and then the username again, Mongo admin, and the password should be secret. And then we want to place the out folder should be slash backup and slash. And let's see what's happening. Let's go in for the editor. And now we can see we have element and hello world and we have the document here. If you open this, it's yeah, it's don't look funny. And then we have the metadata, so that's the fine, that's the JSON file. So yeah, that's perfect. It's running as it should be. Let's go back for the terminal here. And let's exit what we have done. We will exit the, the terminal and we're going over to the second one and I will say down now because then we will be sure everything is going away so let's go inside here and see, see it's, it's empty and refresh here disconnect and connect again and we're missing our database here that's perfect that's expect expect all what we have done here so let's going back and uh, going inside the base and restore we will go in for the backup folder 
and we have everything down here so that's perfect and what we want to do now it's a restoring the mongo mongo restore and here we go use a name mongo element and password it's a secret and then we need everything inside here to say backup and hello world and we take all base and files inside so let's restore and we are here and we are restoring if we're going back for the dogger here uh, the, sorry the mongo we have the hello world collection and test and yeah that's it that's how you can restore the data and back up the data from a docker container i really hope you want to enjoy this and i hope you want to subscribe my channel you can do it in the right corner below and i hope if you like it so press the like button and add it for your playlist to remember it for the last time for the, for the next time sorry and uh, yeah what else you can find it on my github profile i will uh, share the code so you don't need to do anything if you have learned it so you can remember it for the in the future and of course you can follow me on github too if you want to get more code from me and thank you so much and hope to see you next time and thank you for subscription bye bye